My name is Daniel Diaz del Castillo and my project is the Autonomous Sleep Vacuum Shredder. This project is essentially a device that automatically cleans your leaves in your yard and it doesn't need any human supervision. It does it by itself. That's why it's autonomous. I originally started this idea by my own personal experience. I have a large yard and it takes me two to three months to clean it. And so I just, I'm going to college next year, so I figured I need to help my mom or do something so she can clean the yard. I took a survey um, for this project to make sure I knew what I was talking about. And so one of the questions was, do you find raking slash picking leaves a time, hard, time consuming, um, payful work? And the majority of people said that it was a time consuming task. And I, I asked 75 people, with it, uh, it was students and elderly and middle aged, so it was a wide range of a wide age group. And the second question was, um, what method do you use most to clean your leaves? And the majority of people said, said it was uh, rakes. I had five questions and then I applied them to, or I used them to uh, figure out a way to put them in my project. So as a result of my own personal experience and the survey that I took, um, the engineering problem statement that I made was cleaning the leaves is a tiring and time consuming task for anybody, especially for the elderly and the disabled. So as a result, I set out to make a device that cleans leaves autonomously. And I'll show you right back outside. So here's my autonomous leaf vacuum shredder and I'll describe it to you. Um, there's two parts of the device. There's the mechanical part, which is essentially the leaf blowers, and there's the electronic part, autonomous part, which uh, is the wiring. So essentially this, the device consists, the main body of the car um, is a boss uh, little kid toy car, and so, I took the frame of the car and then here I'll show the inside of the car. And so I took the inside and took it all apart and then I got two leaf blowers, electric leaf blowers. Um, it, it could vacuum and shred leaves at the same time. So that is a very good component of uh, the entire device. And I put the leaf blowers, I attach the hose to it, which um, after it shreds it, because underneath the car there is a rake and there is uh, the um, attachments, which when the uh, car is driving forward, the leaves will be sucked in, into here. So once it's sucked in there, the leaf blowers will shred the leaves and then it will go to the hose here. and and then it'll go through oh, I need to the bag is attached here so it's easy to keep it there and the pipes go into the bag and then that's where the leaves will be directed directly into the bag so I'll quickly demonstrate it right now So you could the bag could be easily taken out, and then you can dispose the leaves in a compost pile or wherever you want it, in a trash can or wherever. And that's the mechanical part of the um, the car. Now the electrical uh, autonomous part of the car consists of an Adreno and a sonar sensor, which is right here in the front. So the car motors, uh, which are over here, are attached to um, these victors, and they're also attached directly from the battery. So the motors will be running off the battery, but then I I made the Adreno run off of 
a 9 volt battery and there's a switch to turn it on and with the the, the entire system runs off of a uh, Adreno code so the code essentially is designed to run like a Roomba so it'll move it'll continuously go forward until it hits an object which is half a meter away and then it'll back up for about two milliseconds or two thousand milliseconds sorry and um, and then it'll turn right at a 45 degree angle and then it'll continuously um, move forward and it'll continue the process over and over again so eventually with this type of coding it'll, it'll reach every single corner of the yard and it'll just continuously vacuum the leaves until the yard is clean I did two, three trials uh, in comparing my autonomous leaf vacuum shredder to three other commonly used devices to clean leaves, which is um, which are a brake, a leaf blower, and a vacuum. So, in order to test it, I there's three three different people as subjects, and I timed three different people with three trials for each device. Um, in this 20 foot by 20 foot area, and I filled this area with uh, two bags of leaves over there, and I evenly spread out the leaves, and then each person essentially um, break the leaves and put them either into a trash can, and that's it because uh, vacuums and my device just put the uh, leaves into a container. I'll quickly demonstrate um, a trial to show you how I ran the test. So I'm taking a bag of leaves and I'll spread it out through this 20 foot by 20 foot area. I'll have a subject to uh, break the leaves and I'll time um, the person to uh, how long it'll take them to casually rake the leaves without rushing. Ready? Set? And that's it. That's how long it took. Now that was an example of a test that would take three trials per person. So there would be two, uh, two more people um, doing the same thing with each method, breaking, vacuuming, and leaf blowing, and also using the autonomous, uh, my device, the autonomous leaf vacuum shredder. Through my experience with uh, Key Club and helping other people rake the leaves, I've noticed that mostly the elderly and disabled always ask for help because they, they just physically can't clean the yard. In conclusion, this autonomous uh, leaf vacuum shredder has successfully achieved the engineering problem, which was to clean autonomously, clean the leaves. This device will be very helpful, to, especially for the, um, the elderly and the disabled, since they already cannot um, clean the leaves and they always use other methods, whether by help or they just plainly do not clean the leaves. Some people cleaning the leaves might not be a big deal, but I know to us and to my family and to many others, cleaning the leaves is just a simple way to make your yard look nice. This device would be the best method, especially for the elderly and disabled, because there's no human interaction with it while it's working clean, uh, or cleaning the leaves. The only thing that's needed is to clean the bags and dispose it into a trash can or a compost pile, and that's it. In terms of my talents that I put into this, I'm naturally, um, I'm always tinkering with things, and I always put things together and disassembling things, so this is a perfect project for me. Thank you for viewing my project.